Hello everyone from Coppell, Texas. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. I just left my uh, morning coffee stop. I go to coffee just about every morning at 5 o'clock in the morning at uh, Einstein's Bagels here in Coppell. It's 89 degrees at 6.30 in the morning. It's going to be up to 105 degrees today, and we're supposed to get up to 108 by Saturday. I'm uh, getting ready to leave town on sort of a work project slash vacation for a couple of weeks, so I thought I'd uh, put together a moto vlog before I leave, kind of update you on what's going on on the YouTube channel and on Cruise Man's Garage. I uh, finished up the Airlon video which many of you have already looked at and checked out and uh, do a little background uh, the owner of Airlon reached out to me I guess about a year and a half ago sent me some product to try and I don't know what happened to it it must have got misplaced or you know just real busy at the time and never really got around to trying it and then uh, about a month ago he reached out to me again and um, we had a conversation on the phone and after hearing about the product it sounded very intriguing because it was uh, originally developed for aircraft uh, for like jet aircraft and jet boats and things like that where they need to reduce drag either going through the air or through the water and you know when you think about it there's no way to apply paste wax to a jet airplane it's just too it's too big it take forever there's so many little intricate spots that are hard to get to with wax. It take forever to wax a 2018 Goldwing. And this stuff, you just basically wipe it on while the bike is wet, and then hose it off, and, it, and you're done. And so it's just amazing stuff. So I'd encourage you to watch the video I put out on this because I show how I used it on the Goldwing. I show how I used it on our car, and I even did it on my Bush Tech trailer. And uh, what's really the best, the best feature of it, unlike wax, is you don't have to worry about getting it on the black plastic parts. Uh, it doesn't dry and form that haze, and sometimes you'll get wax on the, that flat black plastic, like on the rear fender or the bottom of the saddlebag, and then you get this uh, white haze that's really a pain to get off. But you don't have to worry about that with this product. You can put it on anything. You can put it on the windshield, you can put it on the uh, dash of your 2018 Goldwing. Um, it, it, won't, it won't hurt you know, clear plastic, it won't hurt black plastic. It, it actually protects it, so it's really cool stuff. Anyway, check it out. Uh, check out the video. And we even got the uh, owner of the company to give a 10% discount. Uh, if you use discount code CRUISE, uh, you, they'll take 10% off your uh, order. So that's pretty cool. I met one of my YouTube friends uh, recently, uh, just a couple days ago, at where I go for coffee in the morning. A guy by the name of Don Smith, who also has a 2018 Goldwing, and actually has an interesting story about how he got his 2018. But uh, we met for coffee and super nice guy. Also a professional video editor. And uh, he's showing me some new tips on video editing that are really helping me out. Some of the things I've been doing, uh, I've been doing the hard way for years. Uh, we met and he had a chance to sit on my uh, Wingsoft seat. And I think he was pretty impressed. I think he'll probably be getting his seat upgraded pretty soon. Uh, we also had a chance to do some testing between the uh, Cardo and Cena headsets, which we never could quite get to pair, uh, where I could communicate with him from my Cardo to his Cena. We never could quite get the two paired together on what we were doing wrong. But I did discover through all this that uh, I was able to make a phone call from my Goldwing through my Cardo headset and um, actually worked pretty well. I learned that you can place a call while the bike's in motion with an Android phone, but you do have to set up a speed dial. 
and once you set up a speed dial you can then dial any numbers through the speed dial screen while the bike's moving you cannot dial numbers through the phone book that shows up on the screen now why I don't know it's probably just a glitch that Honda could work out and I was also able to receive a phone call while the bike was moving so those are two things I've never tested before but they do work with the Cardo Pack Talk Bold now Don has had some trouble getting the Cardo Pack Talk Bold to work with Siri he was trying to talk through his uh, Cardo to the through the motorcycle to his Apple iPhone Apple CarPlay with Siri and he couldn't get it to work so not sure what that problem is but it, it does exist so he's now using the Cena 20s Evo and he says it works perfectly for him so anyway we're gonna do a hopefully when I get back in town back in the country we're gonna do a complete review of all these different uh, Bluetooth headsets I was gonna do it myself but I thought you know I've only tested a couple of different ones Don's actually tested three or four different ones so it might be good to have him sit in and tell his story and uh, so for those of you who are looking to buy a Bluetooth headset for your 2018 Goldwing I think you're gonna find that video to be quite enlightening I also on my last moto vlog I mentioned that I had gone to Bryan College Station to meet with uh, John down at Wingsoft what I failed to mention though is I had a chance to for the first time try out my ultra guard bike cover from show chrome accessories now I've had an ultra guard before I had one on my 2007 and I really liked it uh, I actually prefer the ultra guard bike cover to the Honda bike cover I think it's a better material I think it's uh, it reflects the sunlight the Honda cover that I had before or on my 2012 I had one and it was black and it it just wasn't as good a material but this ultra guard is not only less expensive it's the half bike cover that I have but it's a silver color and it reflects the sunlight now they have other colors but I like the silver because I think it reflects the sunlight better and what I like about it a couple of things um, it comes in a really nice little pouch that you can easily fold this cover up put it in the pouch and just shove it in your saddlebag or in your trunk or if you have a trailer you can put it in the trailer what I thought I might do is uh, for those of you who do park your bike at hotels or outside give you a couple of tips on using a bike cover because it's really important to clean your bike before you put a bike cover on uh, I carry a pistol grip sprayer with me and I spray down the windshield completely and the front fairing any plastic painted part that's going to touch that bike cover I want to make sure it's clean before I put the bike cover on now there's a couple of reasons to do that one reason is it keeps the inside of the bike cover clean because whatever's on your windshield or on your fairing is eventually going to rub off on the inside of that bike cover and get it dirty but the main reason is if you have dust or anything on that windshield or on your paint and you put the bike cover over that while it's dirty that bike cover overnight the wind is going to blow and it's going to start flapping up against that and it becomes like sandpaper any dust on your windshield is just going to start rubbing it back and forth and you're, end, you're going to end up with a scratched windshield or scratched paint so I advise you to thoroughly clean your bike and I do this every time I'm on a long ride if I get to a hotel the first thing I do is unload the bike take everything up to the hotel room and then I go back down clean the windshield clean the trunk and then put the bike cover on now I put the bike cover on I start with the front of the bike and if you'll notice on the inside of the ultra guard cover it's got kind of a soft lining to protect the windshield and uh, which is nice the Honda cover did not have that so this ultra guard cover has almost like a felt like material on the inside on the parts that contact the windshield so I start with the front of the bike and I hook it up under the front of the bike and then I pull it back over 
the main part of the bike to the trunk and I stretch it over the trunk. That's just the way I do it. Now there's a couple of little hooks on each side that on my previous Goldwing, you would kind of hook those, you would kind of hook those to the engine guard on the front or on the back and it worked great. But there's really not a good place to hook these on the 2018. So what I did is I just loop them underneath the foot peg, the rider foot peg. And if you loop it back on itself, then you can just hook it to itself and it holds perfectly. And I think the Ultra Guard bike cover looks really nice. It uh, reflects the sun. It does uh, have a little more waterproof capability than the Honda cover that I had before. It's not, I wouldn't call it waterproof, but it's water resistant. And in fact, it's a good idea when you come out in the morning to dry it off with some towels while it's still on the bike. Just, you know, you'll get some dew or moisture on that cover overnight. Go ahead and dry it off good with some towels or microfiber before you put it back in the pouch because you don't want it to get moldy and stinky or whatever. And they will. So dry it off good before you put it back in the pouch. So anyway, you can check out Big Bike Parts website, show chrome accessories, that Ultra Guard cover. I think they're, I don't know, they're 40 or less than 40 bucks, I think. Don't let me forget to mention, if you like these videos and these moto vlogs, make sure you click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell, uh, YouTube will notify you whenever I put up a new video. And I usually put two or three a week, depending on the week. A lot of stuff coming up on the website and on the YouTube channel. We're getting ready to hit 11,000 subscribers. That's pretty exciting. We're getting several hundred new subscribers each month. So much appreciate all you guys that have subscribed. Also really appreciate your comments. Put your comments down below. I try to read everyone and if necessary, I try to respond to them. Just keep watching the YouTube channel for new videos, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Now, if you have a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing, I have a great set of maintenance DVDs or on-demand videos. Just go to my website, cruisemansgarage.com, and you can find all the information there about that. You can save at least $1,000 a year on labor costs by doing these things yourself. I'll show you how to remove all the body parts, how to change the air filter, how to change your oil, how to change your brake fluid, how to bleed the brakes, how to change your brake pads. All of these things are things that you can do in your garage at home with pretty simple tools. You don't even have to have a motorcycle lift. You can do it with the center stand. So we've sold thousands of copies of those DVDs and so if you've got a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing or F6B, uh, those videos are good. Now I'm working on a set for the 2018, but it'll be a little bit longer. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and the glforum.com. And that's all for now. So check us out next time on Cruise Man's Garage.